Okay, so now we're going to do an example in a character array, like an array of type character, and we're also going to cover multi-dimensional arrays. Okay, so we're going to do a quick example now on that. Include again, like before, except this time it's going to be characters, just to illustrate how that would work as well. Curly bracket. And that's it. So how many characters have we got? One, two, three, four. Uh, let's just add a space. Okay. Space we can enter it by doing a backslash zero. Oops, zero. And we close the curly brace. This time we're gonna output the array as a string. I'm going to demonstrate something else as well. I'm going to do something else. We can show the entire content of the array just by simply typing the, the array name or the, the type, the variable name. Okay? And that would print the whole name. That should just print the whole name. If I wanted to print just um, just a, a character in that array of the string. Shall we say that? Yeah. And this time we're going to put a new line again and then we just now we're going to refer to the i. We need we need it to display the second element in the string which is the i. Okay? And we do that like this. One. Like I said before, we start the array with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and now we're going to close that, and that's about it. Yeah, that's enough for for now. And then we go to multi-dimensional arrays. So let's see that working. We're going to name that save as call that Mike. Save, saved. Okay, compile. No problems. Close that. And now we're going to build it into an executable file. Okay, so now we're just going to go and type Mike. Okay, so it says here the array contains, oh, we didn't say the string, he string, Mike, but you get the point. Then, uh, then array, oh, what have I been doing? <laughs> Let me correct that quickly because <laughs> it sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? The array. The array contains the string. The array contains the in the second element of the string. That looks about right. And we're going to save that again. Uh, build. Okay, let's have a look at that. Mike. Okay, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? The array contains the string Mike. The array contains the I in the second element of the string. So that one's okay. Now we're going to move on to multidimensional arrays. Now, what are multidimensional arrays? Multidimensional arrays are like a, a big box, and inside it, there's several different boxes. Okay, so you can actually hold different types of of elements. Okay and it can be more of a 2D or 3D um, array. Okay, we're going to demonstrate this with the example and it will become a lot clearer once we do the example. So we're going to start with include again stdio.h I'm going to put main curly brackets int, so it's going to be an integer value and this time we're going to make it a 2D Array. So it's going to put have the first first element of the array is going to have three elements inside it, and the second section of the array is going to have another three um, elements. Okay. Curly bracket, and now we're going to enter in that another curly bracket. Okay, curly brace, and this time we're going to put characters. We're going to put A B C. B C. 
we'll close that section off put a comma in the middle and now we're going to put the next section which is going to hold one two three so that's it and now we close the final curly brace at the end and we'll put a semicolon at the end as well okay so now we're going to just show the results yeah have a little a few combinations of of the output and see what it would look like so now I want to reference array 0 actually that's wrong that bit obviously that's silly of me so 0 0 refers to the A okay because now we're saying the first of this because this is like a two section array I've just recalled something <laughs> um, so that's just th that array contains two elements and inside the two elements are three elements each okay so that's clear so now what we're saying here we're saying 0 0 and 0 0 refers to the A because we're, we're referring to the first element and the first element in that as well in that one we're referring to the first one which is here 0 and we're referring to num the second one which is number 1 which is the B with this line here we, we're going to be printing the first element hit the content of that one and the final part which is number 2 position 2 I know there's 3 but it starts with 0 1 2 ok in this section here we are saying referring to the first position one or one which basically stands for 2 because that's 0 and that's 1 so we're saying 1 and refer to the first element us a b c 1 2 3 okay if the program has no errors so we're going to close that and we're going to save save as and we're going to call that uh, multi array save I say compile oops we have an error what's the error here it says fast error expecting a bracket and that's line 6 let's have a look at that well it's very obvious I've made a grave grave mistake here what have I been doing <laughs> I've been typing pasting and, and not realizing that I've actually uh, made a mistake here so that's this is obviously wrong that's not how you refer to it this is how you do it, you don't need to put array array twice, ARR twice so that should work now showing you even I can make mistakes eh? <laughs> so now it looks like it worked we're going to close that and we're going to say build ok that looks like it's worked close it and now we're going to say control panel and what did we call it? Multi array. Multi array. Enter. Oh, what do we have here? We've got ABC and then we've got these ASCII characters at the end. So, what's the mistake that I've done? Second section should have not, because I was pasting and not looking, should be decimals. But we've de demonstrated that we can actually, the format that we can output if it was entered into characters it would convert the integer value into the ASCII code character so now we put the D's in there which stands for decimal so now it would show us the whole number so if we save that and we build ok that's done close it and now we just put multi arrays and we get ABC123 and that's this, that's it for this lesson.